Uh, okay, back to town, speak to the companions, see which quests have been completed, and um, then, I don't know, head back out again, I suppose, if I've not managed to do them all. I assume the Crystal Skull is for one of them. And... Um, crystal Skulls for one of them, and I don't know if the axe that I picked up is uh, what Dalen's looking for. Uh, right. Where are you? There. Uh, I think I'll be better off on my own. Yes, go. Goodbye. Uh, now we're going for Dalen. Yes, and dialogue. Yes. Is there some? Just want to talk for a while. I'd like you to continue your story from before. The, this axe has a notched blade. Is the one you saw in your vision? Yes, yes. This is the blood-soaked blade that has haunted my dreams. Then the one who wields it is dead. Yes, he was a dwarf named Gorkin. Uh, they told me that there was a sinister dwarf among the bandits, one of many who escaped the battle. The, uh, then it is over. My mother is avenged, and her spirit can finally rest. Thank you, Tam. Once again, you've proven yourself to be the greatest of friends. Words cannot properly explain the gratitude I feel. I regret I can offer you nothing as a reward for my thanks. Uh, my f but my thanks, my friendship, and my courage in battle. The reward you offer is greater than you know, Dalen. Thank you again, Tam. My mother is avenged, and her spirit is at peace. Now then, let's return to what we were doing. Uh, yes. Shoot. Is there something I'll do better off my own. Yes, go. Goodbye. Uh, Sharwin. I suspect. Yes. Yes. I uh, just want to talk for a while. I'd like you to continue your story. Um, I believe I have a lock of the nymph's hair here. That is nymph's hair, isn't it? You're a marvel, Tam. Danon will be freed and Lady Onaris re uh, revealed for the fat old woman she is. Or is that what I want? I've been looking forward to this for some time, but I failed to see any excitement over it. Um, Danon should be free from the spell, at least. No? Hmm, the spell may have worn off, and maybe it's really his choice. But what if it wasn't? I suppose I owe him that much at least. Thank you, Tam. I wish I had something more to thank you with. Maybe I'll think of something later. Let's go on, shall we? Uh, so that's uh, her yes. done. Is something you need? I think I'll do better off on my own. Yes, go. End dialogue. Grimnaw. I have been waiting for you. I suspected you would return. Do you need me to join with you once more? Yes. And together we shall rain blood and death. Blah, Is blah, blah. Something you need? I just need to talk for a while. Uh, to continue your story from before. Continue. Oh, the mummified hand of an inanimate corpse. I think I... Uh, never went to her. Tommy under gallows. Where are you? Grimnaw. What's the corpse hand found in the chest in the Arcane Brotherhood's tomb on the North Road? I don't think I've done... Well, I clearly haven't done that. Ah, well, I can't be bothered. End dialogue. Is uh, there something? Never mind. End dialogue. Oh, yeah, I want to... Is there something I think we need to part ways now, Grimnaw. Uh... Just think it's time we parted ways. There we go. And let's get Tommy back. I figured they'd drag you up. Yep. Rest, uh, and then we'll go to I the north can't road. Bear this much weight and keep up. And uh, we'll go to the north road and um, see if we can find that arcane tomb. Inventory. Belt of the Performer, put that back on. I'm out of the Red Tribe, Red Tiger Tribe, which now gives me plus three strength. Oh, and immunity to fear. And this gives me plus three charisma, perform and persuade. Okay, so we're going to go, let's go back to, back to where we were in the Griffin Inn. And from there, well, actually, let's just run straight north. The north, we should be able to just find it. On the north road. Um, map. Yes, 
Yeah, it's weird that north isn't uh, up. It's an interesting choice they made. What's being lazy? Port last mines. Cave, cave. It, this is the North Road, isn't it? Oh. For honor and glory. Must have missed a die wolf earlier. North Green Griffin in Luskin. I think it must it must be over here somewhere. There must be a the tomb. Three people need to do one presentation. Like one dude is currently working on it, another beside him showing him websites and stuff related to it. I think I did I miss something you said? Another is beside him showing him websites. That seems like a reasonable way of working though. If only one of you can really work on the presentation at a time and uh, somebody else is doing research for the content, that seems like a good division of labor. Uh, north to Green Griffin and Luskin. Let's, let's go north. Oh, I know where it might be in the, the southeast side. <laughs> I said, since we've got a, a week to do this presentation, just send me what you've done today. I'll work on it tomorrow, then send it along to the third dude the next day. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Is there not stuff that you can work on concurrently? Oh, the good. There's undead here. This seems like a, seems like the right place. I was hoping they would all die instantly from my turn undead. Oh yeah. No, that doesn't seem uh, that doesn't seem very reasonable. Now see what a warrior looks like. If you need, if you can't do work on it until they've finished what they're doing, then then there's no point in you doing busy work until until they're finished. Uh, beware the undead or rest, uh, beware the undead or restless. Bring weapons to visit grandma or don't visit her, just visit her at all. Really. Uh, sign the caretaker. Let's have a look in the caretaker's house. This reminds me of there's, uh, oh, oh, it's doing the rotating camera thing again. Yeah, you can't both work on the same PowerPoint at the same time. What the hell? Let's deal with these undead and then we'll go, and go into the house. Unimpressed with my ability to turn undead. I hoped at least some of them would die instantly. They're just generic zombies as well. Turn and dead should definitely kill you guys. Oh, there, I killed some of them. And feared the rest. But do they just keep coming? Or are there. <coughs> I couldn't tell that earlier. Oh, yeah, let's. Uh... Let's do buffs. I think it's level based turn undead though, not uh, not stat based. Oh, 
Uh, there we go. It said to focus on charisma in the guide that I read about uh, about the paladin before I started. Not, not like I, I browsed it to check stats. I didn't really read a full guide, but um, it said charisma should be your primary stat. But it also said something about an ability to, that increased your saving throws by your charisma that I don't seem to have. So I don't know if it was I was reading a guide for the wrong game. stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Just need to get Grimnos. Oh, a crystal skull for some reason as well. Le oh, it's level caster plus charisma. Okay. Well, I've buffed my uh, charisma now, so. Nice. That is weird. It's only happened once before. But the last time you saw the, the spinny cam. Stop it. Well, let's just change the cam mode. And then it can't do it. Aha. It also means I don't run anywhere. The lock no in this drawer is too complex to pick. It's ward against simple spells. So I have to find the proper key. Fine then. Be like that. Uh. <laughs> it's really satisfying. I don't think I have my. I don't. No, I, I think I've got all my abilities on here. Lay on hands. Turn undead. Remove disease. Power attack. Summon mount. Oh, I do have smite evil. Yeah, oh god, yeah. Uh, I used that in Act 1 and then totally forgot about it ever since. Uh, rest. So, what button is that? F4. I'm not sure how much damage it does. It's my evil... Feet allow the character to make a special attack, apply their charisma modifier to their attack roll, and their class level to the damage delivered. Smite Evil may be used once per day. I think you can get extra uses of it. Uh, go to Feats. I think you can get another feat that gives you extra uses of it per day. I'm thinking this is the place that I need to get into. Uh, for the for Grimnor's thing, so we just need to. Right, I'm guessing the caretaker will let me in. Good day. Hey, what's this? Looking so clean as you. Uh, I'm left to wonder what you're doing in my graveyard. Your graveyard? Yes, my graveyard. Damn it! You can think these old headstones just. You don't think these old headstones clean themselves, do you? It's a rather small graveyard, isn't it? Well, they've moved the graveyard inside the city walls, smarty pants. Nobody comes out here anymore, not that I mind. Oh, but if they only knew, hee hee, my little graveyard has its secrets, oh yes it does. Um, and just sort of, sort, what, what sort of secrets are you talking about? Well, all right then, listen close. They buried one of the oldest members of the Arcane Brotherhood here. Right here, oh yes. Uh, what's the Arcane Brotherhood? No, I know what the Arcane Brotherhood is. Um, oh, and what's interesting about that? Uh, that's very interesting because they carved out the whole tomb underneath the mausoleum, full of magics and everything, so, or so I'm told. You haven't gone down there? Oh, no, no, no. I have the key, of course. It's just, well, zombies down there and such. They've come up time to time, and that's why I keep the mausoleum under lock and key. Uh, zombies? Hmm, oh yes, yes. They've been a bit restless for some time now. I imagine it's one of those wizards down there. Not quite as dead as they should be. You know how it goes. Uh, that doesn't frighten you. 
Us caretakers don't frighten easily. Besides, I imagine that fellow is busy with his books and won't be bothering me for quite some time. What books? Oh, did I say books? Er, no, I didn't. I just said he's busy with his looks. Yeah, that's it. Those undead look a fright, you know. No, you said books, I'm sure of it. Dang, blast it. Fine, fine. Uh, it just so happens that those fool wizards left a whole collection of magical books down there. I don't know why. I bet they just plain forgot about them. I, I guess. Leave it to wizards. Uh, I ain't never seen them, but my grandpappy did. He said there was huge books, all covered in runes. The kind of things the wizards usually get their robes all in a knot over. Like this one wizard who came here months back. Eltura said her name was. From Port Last, desperate to find the books. I didn't tell her nothing. Anyways, I imagine the books is connected to whatever strangeness is going on down there. I don't mind. I just take things as they come. How about you give me that key and I'll go down there. Let you plunder the tomb? Never. Err, not for less than 200 gold pieces anyway. Persuade, uh, 100 gold. Uh, I'll give you 100 gold, though I'm sure this is a scam. 50 gold and you can thank me for that. Uh, 50 gold and you can thank me for that. Hmm. Uh, are you that poor that you can't afford the... Bah, fine, go ahead and take it. Excellent. Oh, Divine Grace. I do have Divine Grace. Uh, Paladin adds Charisma bonus to all saving throws. Oh! Oh, it uses it automatically. Ah, that's why I couldn't find the ability. So, it, so the guide was right then. I'm just too incompetent to find... Uh... <laughs> to find the stat they were talking about. Um, let's head into the Green Griffin Inn. Not the Green Griffin Inn. What am I talking about? The 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 crypt of the uh, what's it called? Arcane Brother. I did rest. Good. Right. Let's buff my charisma. And my strength. And then we'll get some... Uh, some of that one. Yeah, I want a Holy Avenger. Isn't that... that I certainly, in, in the original edition of D&D that I played, that was the best sword in the game. I don't think it is in this. Uh... I've still got the, my sword from Act 1. The uh... Ah Astral Blade. It adds sonic damage or something to my uh... to my attacks. How did I get... How do I have more... Oh, because I increased my charisma. I was wondering how, to, how I had more charges of uh turn undead than I started with. Tyrant fog zombie. That sounds like a fun kind of zombie. Holy Avenger is an item property that when used by a paladin acts like a plus five enhancement holy weapon that dispels magic on hit. Uh, delivers an additional 1d6 divine damage against evil aligned creatures and grants the caster spell resistance of 16. Yeah, yeah, uh, that that sounds like something uh, something I wouldn't say no to. Ooh, there's a trap there. Uh, let's uh, explode them. Let's explode them again. Oh, turn on dead provokes tax of opportunity. Is there a Holy Avenger available in the, in the original campaign? Presumably it would be in Act 3 if there is. Oh, something I was wondering as well. Do you, When you do the expansions, do you use the same character? Does it do you like transfer your save game from the original campaign and use the same character and gear and stuff? Or do you start a brand new character? I mean, your Holy Sword spell basically gives you the Holy Avenger. Oh, okay. I don't think I've got the Holy Sword spell yet. Wait, 
How are you attacking me? I thought you were feared. How dare you? Oh, there's a lot of zombies in here. Oh, spell circ spell level four. Uh, so I won't get it until uh, at least another four levels. Make this fight count. It won't be. I've got two level one and two level two spells at the moment. I did level up again though. Oh, did, wait, did I? Yeah, I leveled up. I think while you were offline, I leveled up to level 11. But I didn't get any extra spells. Oh yeah, because you'd use... Uh, I keep on forgetting to turn undead. I might as well smite evil one as well, because I'm going to be resting soon. Hits. Level 15, yeah, that's what I thought. So four, four more levels. Oh, it's only every three levels you get a new level of spells as a paladin. I suppose that makes sense, since you get them since you're like a secondary caster. Uh, can't rest, there's enemies nearby. Let's loot this body. Does it, oh it does run if you use the uh, keys to move. Damn your traps. Gur arc. Somebody's been watching Buffy. Oh, if I use lay on, oh, uh, I'll use lay on hands on Tommy. Actually, I was going to say if I use lay on hands, I can uh, um, kill things, kill undead things. But uh, you just use it to save my stupid halfling. I mean, my noble squire. I can use. No. I think it's just a case of decreasing my strength. That's just rude. Still 19. Oh, there we go. It's all about the patience. The turn undead lasts a long time. You just get to kill them for free as they stand waiting for it. Oh, there we go. That's it. Run off. Wearing off. I'm guessing this is where the last two Imscarin tomes or whatever they're called are as well. Let's save. In case this trap blows up. Nope. Uh, tomb key. Potion of invisibility. Can I rest? Yes, I can. Uh, right. This is a very big tomb considering the size of the entrance. I guess it's subterranean. Also, I love the uh, I love architecture that includes bottomless pits. It's all the rage these days. Must be a pain to clean, though. Uh, along this bridge, I suppose. I'm guessing. Uh, turn on dead.
I just haven't increased my charisma again. Let's move back. Buff charisma. Then we'll turn her dead again. That works. Oh, there's a human. A cursed monk. Dirty humans. I don't like people that I can't uh, um, turn. Dirty humans. That's <laughs> the most arbitrary racism. Or species. I never play a human in uh, in RPGs if there's an option of another race. Which is weird, because most people do play humans. Turn him to the gay side! Which I get little rainbows that come out when I turn on it, when I turn on dead. If I'm the most fabulous paladin. Find some uncorrupted corpse bits for uh, for um, Grimnor. Oh, they don't let up, do they? Oh, lay on hands, you. And keep going. Yeah, the the feats. Uh, the reason that most people go for the mechanical benefits. Although I think people underestimate the power of uh, uh, other races' racials. Like, just things like dark vision and. Um, or night vision or whatever. Um, and, you know, being proficient in longbows and longswords and things. Uh, for elves, is a uh, is a strong racial. Uh, like it's you're getting uh, you're getting multiple feats just from that. You just don't get to choose which specific ones you want. But I just think it's boring for uh, choosing humans, which is. He says, and he's playing a human paladin, but uh, that's because I would have gone a dwarf paladin, but apparently uh, having a charisma penalty is, <laughs> is terrible as a paladin. Now see what a true warrior looks like. And I think that I don't think there were any other races that were particularly exciting to be a paladin with. Here comes Halfling Death! You disarm that trap, please. If I draw shit like wizard, druid, bard, cleric. I'm probably gonna still pick, still pick a human. Uh, do, do elves not get a wisdom? Is it wisdom and dex they get? I can never remember. It's, there's so many different systems with different, uh, different buffs. I never remember. How do I open this? Not like that. Okay, okay. Am I encumbered or something? Poisoned. Dexterity decreased. I don't know why I'm moving so slow. Okay, I can get there. No, that's the only way over there. Come here, Tommy. We're gonna go away, we're gonna sleep. And then we'll come back and work out how to get through the damn door. 
Oh, you get into that, right. I don't know why. I'd, uh, maybe it's because they they can't, gnomes can't be paladins in uh, in WoW that I didn't even consider being a gnome paladin. I don't think there there are no racial restrictions on classes in uh, um, D and D that I can think of. What the? The controls were just weird there. They were sort of locked. Oh, there's another way I've not been. <laughs> Accidentally summoned two undead warriors. Yeah, strength penalty is probably not that good for a melee class. Going halfling. Do you still get a horse mount or do you uh, ride a mastiff? If you go one of the small races. I think it's quite cute, the idea of a halfling riding a mastiff. Although I'm not sure a dog's spine would cope with even a... Oh, you got a pony. I'm not sure a dog's spine would cope with a... Um, with somebody riding it, even if uh, even if they are halfling size. Somebody was saying to me that the reason that they used chariots in, in ancient Greece is that they... Uh, horses weren't strong enough to carry somebody on their back. And they it was just through breeding that we ended up with horses that are are tough enough. Yeah, I was uh in um 5th edition. It, it just says any any willing medium-sized creature. So I was thinking about uh doing a halfling character in 5th edition with uh um that has a barbarian as, as his mount. Here comes halfling death. So you've got like a, a halfling with a lance riding on top of a um, like a half orc's shoulders or something. I think there's a in the optional rules for fifth edition. There's a cavalier class or cavalier uh, subclass of warrior. Like Master Blaster from uh, Beyond Thunderdome. Although actually, when Blaster fights, Master wasn't uh, wasn't attached. I think. Where? Where? Where are we going? Where? Where's? Where's the path go? Who am I? What? What am I? charge down here. There's these gates, but I don't know how to open them. Oh, there's a thing down here. This will probably be, there'll be a lever or something. You go where the enemies are, that's probably the right way. Halfling riding on a panther sounds pretty cool. If you can get to, uh, to ride a spider, they're uh, awesome, because you can climb up walls and stuff. Bears too, bears have a climb speed also. I had people ride my uh, druid when I last played 5th edition. Because uh, you can just, when we had something to climb and there were competent climbers, they could just get on my back and I could climb. Because bears are yeah, excellent climbers. I'm not sure. I just assumed the rule is the same in fifth edition as it is in um, as it is in Pathfinder. That if you've got a climb speed, you just don't need to roll to climb things, unless they're, you know, unless it's ridiculous, like you're climbing up a pane of glass.
I played a pirate in our Pathfinder game. Well, well, it was a pirate campaign, and thankfully, because I was a, I rolled the worst stats I've ever seen on any character, um, and uh, so there was going to be lots of stuff with swimming around, and I was a cleric, so uh, I would have been so dead. And you can do the trap. But thankfully, I went to. Uh, um, Oh, what are they called? Udine? Undine? Undine? Uh, so I could just breathe water and swim naturally, as naturally as walking. Okay, okay. Ah, it's done. Ooh, a helmet. Uh, still not found a way to. Open this gate. Oh, excuse me. Clicking on it doesn't help. Let's see if we can find a lever somewhere. Or a lever, if you're Americanly inclined. Oh, ah, there's a sarcophagus there. Let's uh, try and open that. I don't know how I miss so much stuff when I'm going past. Oh, oh, corpse hand. That's what we were here for. But I still need the Iskaran tombs, or whatever they're called. Uh, they are called Im Imasca Ima Imascaran tomes. Uh, unidentified amulet and a bunch of cash. No lever or anything here. I should rest. Tommy's almost dead. No lever there. When it comes to claiming, it's dex plus strength, then a variety of bonuses depending on what classes you have and feats, versus your carry weight. God, that's complicated. No wonder they made it some uh, just an, a straight skill in uh, in Pathfinder. A fifth edition. <clears throat> I think it's just your athletics in fifth edition. But everything's simplified in fifth edition. Uh, yeah, I'm not finding a way to get to the to get across to the last section. I've explored everywhere. I <laughs> can fear them through the bars. Oh! Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I clicked on that multiple times. It definitely, uh, Yeah, no, it's not. It's uh, athletics. Ac it's weird. In 5th edition, uh, uh, athletic acrobatics is used for almost nothing. Almost every physical activity it specifies in the book is based on athletics. Is it because they're up against the bars? I can't open it. Well, there's an easy solution to that. Oh, is it Tommy? I, I was up against the gate before, though. Let's 
That's a weird one. Don't know why I'm saving. Okay, okay. Come on, zombie warrior. Time to die. There's more coming. I'll knock that quickly okay, before okay. you you charge off into combat, Tommy. It's a good oh, thing I wandered off though, because I would have missed that sarcophagus with the uh, with the nice stuff in it. Right. War zombie. Oh. Turn on dead. I don't know what that spell was, but it didn't look good. Okay, brother Toras. Attack decreased, damage decreased, saving throw decreased, skill decreased. The skill decreased is my stealth because I'm on a horse. I'm guessing he's undead. He can have a lay on hands. If I can target him. Oh, he's already dead. Okay. In which case, I will smite evil this skeleton warrior. I might as well turn them again. Level cap on the server is 30, so I've made a build where I cast Time Stop, walk up to the person, cast Harm, and just whack them. <laughs> oh, because they can't move. Make this fight count. It will be what was it? Uh, a wizard cleric. Oh, do, do you uh, do you know if um do, do you carry on the same character to the expansions or do you start a new one? Sets it to between one and four hit points. Oh, that's one in Scar and Tomb. Ow. And a trap. And. I think I'm still going to be one in Scar and Tomb short. Oh, yeah, cool. So they must start at a fairly high level. Or does the level scale to you? Does the level of the enemy scale to you? Because you can go one of four different directions and it doesn't really specify which way. Do the enemies just auto and loot automatically just get higher level as you do? And it's not a shitty paladin, it's to max the uh, paladin of tier. Is really uninteresting uh, build though. Oh, cool. Is there a correct order to do the expansions in, or do you just do it under dark because it's the best? Oh, okay, that's fair enough. Oh, excuse me. I should do that. I should play another character. Experience more than one, uh, more than one class, especially for the Underdark, because uh, hopefully it's not all undead in the Underdark. Oh God. It's cold. Right. Oh, I'm encumbered. That's why I'm moving so slow. Uh, let's move those into here, and that into here. There we go. I thought there were going to be two Imskar and Tomes here, but it does not appear to be the case. Okay, Bat's Town, hand into Grimnaw, and hand in the Imskar and Tomes, and that's it. Uh... 
campaigns of the expansion packs are 20 hours each. The uh, Hordes of the Underdark campaign lacks multiplayer support. Uh, tell a linked story that is intended to be started in uh, something, SOU, with a new level 1 player character. Part of the reason for starting over at level 1 is that... Uh, oh, it's Shad... something, yeah. As SOU introduced some feats that can only be taken at level 1. Various conversations in the campaigns indicated that SOU campaign occurs at the same time as the original, while the uh, HOTU campaign occurs later, in particular the HOTU campaign. Or HOTU camp. Tended to get characters to level 12, although ending at 13 might be more common, while the uh, Shadows of... Oh, Shadows of Undertide. Whereas the uh, campaign is intended to be started at level 15. Well, I'm level 11 already. Although I've only gained two or three levels in uh, in Act 2, I think. So I'll probably be 14 or 15 when I finish um, Act 3. Because I think I'm totally... After I hand in this, I think I'm totally finished with Act 2. I need to speak to the mage vendor lady. Yeah, I figured it it'll work. But I I think I'll pl I'll try another class. Have you exciting news for me or is this just a routine visit? I have one of the tomes you seek. Offer tome fire, continue. Uh, I have another tome to offer, offer tome of life. Uh, I have another tome to offer, offer tome of death. Oh, I, I forgot to ask for more reach time. Goodbye, and dialogue. Oh, okay. I, I think I've missed a tome, but I don't care. Um, it's the mercenary barracks, which is here. No huh. I don't know why one door is locked and the other one isn't. When there's an open door on the main side. What, check out the on online servers? Uh, I could do. I might do some reading about it after the stream uh, and um, and see about doing it after, after I've finished the campaign. So the Shadows of Undertide is the only one that you can't do online uh, on a on a um, multiplayer server. Uh, who am I speaking to? Uh, Grimnall. I have been waiting for you. Yes. Is there something you just want to talk for a while? I'd like you to continue your story from before. I have the mummified hand here. Will uh, Will this do? Uh, let me see. Yes, this may work. The taint of undeath has not yet contaminated the desiccated flesh of this limb. Look at the severed hand, Tam. See how the withered flesh has grown so tight and thin. It exposes the delicate perfection of the bones beneath. Isn't it beautiful? I thank you for this, Tam, on behalf of the Order of the Long Death. I have no reward to give you, save the blessing of my order. The reward you offer is greater than you know, Grimnall. You will find the blessing has enhanced the properties of this amulet I gave you uh, when you found Alagonda's ring for me. The amulet, all right, okay. Uh, once again, Tam, I thank you. Uh, now let us return to the task at home hand. Those behind the Wailing Death must still be dealt with. Oh, 20 sub-races. Oh, one of the RP servers. Yeah, I could do that. Um, please do not, oh right, sub, oh I see, so there's like shield dwarf, gold dwarf, Durgar, wild dwarf, elf, moon elf, sun elf, wild elf, gnomes, rock gnome, deep gnome, forest gnome, lightfoot halfling, ghost wise halfling, strong heart halfling. Hmm. Kobolds? 
Oh, can you play monster races as well on the online servers? Orog. Or is this just... Have I skipped past them? Uh, a gold dwarf sounds amusing. Minus two dex instead of... Uh, my, uh, what? Minus two dex plus two charisma. Oh, I see. That's how it changes it to, uh, to that. Plus one attack versus aberrations. Receives all other dwarf special abilities. It's not got very exciting abilities. Uh, Aralith server. So... It's surface versus underdark kind of server, so you'll have drow players raiding and doing evil schemes while surface is filled with normal races. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm just going to check the journal. I think that's Act 2 totally finished. Uh, oh, the oh, yeah, it's in, I never find the werewolves. Ugh, I think I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, search for the cult, Ganon's journal. Yeah. That's weird. I can go on to Act 3, but I've still... I've missed a turn of Imskar, and I've no idea what happened to the werewolves. Because I, I didn't spot them anywhere. I'll have to look it up. Anyway, that's me finished for the day, so um, thanks for watching.